passed the Senate. An Arizona historian says he's trying to set the record straight about what happened to Billy the Kid. More than two centuries after the infamous outlaw was killed, he could finally get an official death certificate. Acting Seven News reporter Aaron Hill spoke to the man trying to get it done. He's one of the most recognizable names from the Old West, but exactly what happened to Billy the Kid has been debated for centuries. Did he die in New Mexico, or is that all a myth? A former Arizona State University professor wants to know. So he's filed a petition in district court to get a death certificate for the legendary bandit. It was recognized that Billy was dead, and henceforth all of the Billy the Kid imposters. Uh, no longer have a valid argument. Like most other historians, Robert Stahl believes the kid was shot and killed in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, in 1881 by then Lincoln County Sheriff Pat Garrett. He makes his argument in this 29 page petition. The evidence is there in, in abundance that Billy actually died. And it should be just a routine matter. But others say differently. Some say the kid's death was a complete hoax and he lived to be an old man. In 1950, a Texas man claimed he was Billy the Kid, even asking New Mexico's governor for a pardon, which was denied. If the, issue, if the death certificate is issued, I think a lot of historians. Well, uh, we'll be very pleased. Stahl says a coroner's report served as the death certificate back then, but he says having an actual certificate in place sets the historical record straight once and for all. I'm very, very hopeful, and I'm, in a sense, I'm very confident. Another chapter in the epic saga of Billy the Kid. Aaron Hilf, KOAT Action 7 News. Judge Albert Mitchell will make the final decision on whether he feels there is enough evidence to issue the death certificate. It's the kind of thing.